Hey everybody, Rick Needham, the Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Thursday afternoon, February the 2nd, and this is my Equibase Winner's Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course, Ozone Park, New York, first for race number 5, 2.19 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a mile 70 yard test. On Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, maiden three-year-olds race for a claiming prize of some $26,000. Contenders number four, 40 Deuce, number one, Jack in My Style, number seven, Cameron Canyon, and number six, War Romance. Number four, 40 Deuce is both the overall speed and pace profile leader in its maiden field. Racing at her about today's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. Comes off back-to-back -back power run board hits in his last two starts. Jockey David Cullen and trainer Bruce Brown send him post for this afternoon. They fit the board with 61% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number one, Jack in My Style takes a class drop, is out of the Tappet lineage. His progeny have hit the board in 44% of nearly 3,200 combined lifetime starts to date. Race five summary, number four, 40 Deuce, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number one, Jack in My Style, number seven, Cameron Canyon, and number six, War Romance, 4176 in the fifth from the Big A. Go to Gulfstream Park in South Florida next for race two, 105 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-olds race for an optional claiming prize at $26,000. $500. Contenders number two, My People, number five, Dark Bay, the paired entry of number 1A, Din Experience, and the stable mate, number one, Know Your Boundaries on my list, along with number seven, Gal, has to like it. Number two, My People, takes a class drop this afternoon, his excellent early speed abilities to complement for this sprint. He hit the board in power run fashion in both of his last two starts including a power run win in his second race back. Recent past performance sheets show another circle trip result in his fourth race back, which is indicative of a bounce pattern, folks. The bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Number five, Dark Bay has hit the board in both of his two career starts to date, including a power run win. The break is made in his last start. Jockey Paco Lopez and trainer Nick Canani send him poster. They've whacked the toe board with 68% more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 2 summary number 2, My People, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 5, Dark Bay. On my list also, the paired entry of number 1A, The Next Experience, and the stable mate number 1, Know Your Boundaries, along with number 7, Gal Has to Like It, 2517 in the second from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Charlestown. Race 7, the 4 to 1 shot. Number 3, Lady Eleanor. Qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony. Takes a class drop. Comes off a power run place finish in her last start. Penn National Race Course. Number 3, entry number 10, Knife. A 10 to 1 bomb. Takes a 6 level class drop. Nice overall speed for this mile test tonight on Penn National's dirt track. So handicapping for both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Thursday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.